This is Andy Peel for Boxing News. I'm joined by Josh Warrington here in Sheffield. Josh, Dalton Smith with a statement victory there against Jose Zapata. What did you make of what we saw? Oh, phenomenal, phenomenal. Really good performance, really mature. Um, picks his punches. He looked a level above for what he's boxed before. Just, um, he looked like a world level fighter and uh, credit to him. He was, uh, you know, slow start, lost a couple of the rounds, but explosive finish and uh, and that's what a 12 round fight is, you know, you don't, have, you don't have to worry about losing a round or two if you're going to be setting something up. That was what I was going to ask you about, obviously, you, you said slow start, you know, a bit of a tentative one from Dalton. What impressed you the most though, about the way that he was able to compose himself and then take over from probably the third round onwards? Just that we, um, I would just change things around, you know, change the distance in round. I think he was like, he spent like a round or two just getting his distances, getting his timing, getting his, getting his movement and once he did that, he started picking the shots, and when, when he did, there were times when he could have just gone a bit silly, because he was landing clean shots, but he didn't, he stayed patient. He's at home here in Sheffield, people are screaming and shouting, but he stayed patient, stayed patient, stayed patient, until that side had him hurt. And then obviously, he picks a lovely right uppercut, and then he goes to body, lovely shot, and obviously a devastating finish. We're going to talk about the Adam Azim fight. What happens if we were to see a Dalton Smith Adam Azim fight? Um, I don't think we are going to see it, like at this moment in time, because I think that, um, you know, the time is everything. You know, we love to build a fight up over in the, you know, so I don't think it's going to happen just yet. Um, I think they both need to build, like, it needs to build up in a bit more because that could be a really juicy fight down the line when they're both getting into the primes. Um, but at, at this moment in time, I'd probably have to pick Dalton with a performance like that. Josh, yourself, what's the latest? Lee Wood, will we see, will we not? I don't know. I like, I, I, listen, I'm looking at other options now. It's like I can't hang about. I've fucking been hanging about since uh, since October. You know, it's been spoke about the city ground. We knew that wouldn't happen since January. Why the fuck are we messing about? You know, I can't hang about just for him. My career, my well, last stage of my career, not dictated by him and his fucking curly hair. So, you know, I've got to look at other options. You know, I can fight someone else. I can fight, you know, another world-ranked opponent and start going down the route of world, um, a world champion at diff a different, well, I am stepping up. So, uh, you know, I'm stepping up to uh, Super Feather now. So I'm going to go along the option of, uh, you know, getting towards the title that uh, that way. What other options are you considering? Would a Maritza Lara rematch Super Feather be a possibility? I'll take that. I'll take that, just, just keep me busy, just to bring me back. Just to put that score, you know, back on the notch and then uh, you know, start looking at going down like uh, over, over world talent limiters and stuff like that. But, you know, we'll, I'd love to fight with Wood if he really wanted it, but it's taking its fucking time now, isn't it? It's taking its time, Andy. Josh, are we going to meet you in the playoffs? We're going up to champions, mate. We're going up as champions. <laughs> right, I'm going to play this back if that doesn't happen, but Josh, thank you. Thank you, Andy.